Hey, Mark Rice here. Let me show you how to draw retro music logo design. It will be a great experience and you will learn a couple of my tricks. So let's start. Before we start, I want to show you the beautiful logo intro. So when you learn how to draw logo like this, go to Dope Motions channel and learn how to animate the old disco logo. You can find the channel link below in the video description. Ok, I will start with a circle. So go to tool panel and pick up ellipse tool or just hit L keyboard button. Press shift and draw the circle. Here in transform I will change the size. It can be 100 for example. Now I will swap fill and stroke and change the stroke size. I need two more circles. So I will copy the existing circle with Ctrl plus C, Ctrl plus F commands. Cool. <laughs> now I will convert the outline to shape. Go to object, path and hit outline stroke. That's good. Next step. I will draw a new shape with rectangle tool. If you want to be more precise, go to view and select smart whites. This tool is very helpful and smart. Ok, I finished the rectangle and it's time to copy it for the other two circles. Use Ctrl plus C for copy and Ctrl plus F for paste in place. I will copy the first rectangle one more time. Let it be yellow for now. With the help of yellow shape, I will cut the parts of the circles which I don't need. I will select the yellow rectangle and these circles. Now the magic begins. Go to Pathfinder and use the white. Ok, ungroup, hold shift keyboard button and click on the shape which you want to leave. In my case, they are circles. Hit delete button and done. Now I will select my rectangles and copy it with Ctrl plus C, Ctrl plus F commands. Hold Shift and rotate the new shapes by 45 degrees. I want to cut one part of the new rectangles, so I will draw a new one. Now I will do the same as I did with the circles and the yellow rectangle. Final step, I need to clear this mess here. I will select these shapes and hit the white in Pathfinder. The process of cleaning begins. I will ungroup it and delete everything that I don't need anymore. Now I will unite the shapes and give them the soul with colors. That's it. I hope that you liked the tutorial and stay tuned because the best is yet to come. Peace.